There are traces of modern culture at Yangrimdong, Gwangju. Yangrim means sunny forest. It's a village with a 100-year history. Western missionaries settled down in Yangrimdong. They built schools, hospitals, and churches, leading the way to modern times. If the history of boulevards is written by those in power, the history of alleys contains the vivid lives of the people. About a hundred years ago on this land, when modernization began, the alleys of Yangnimdong, where normal people used to live, began to be filled with modern architecture. And those buildings still stand, with many stories kept inside. Yangrimdong marked the beginning of the modernization of the Gwangju area. If you follow alleys and go up, you'll see the oldest Western-style house in Gwangju. This was a house of the missionary Wilson. He took care of patients with Hansen's disease. After Mokpo port opened, Western missionaries came through Mokpo to Gwangju. It's one of the Western-style modern architecture examples in Yangrimdong. The house of missionary Wilson was originally the sky burial grave site for young people and those who died of infectious diseases. This other brick building at Yangrimdong Street is the Memorial of Owen. Brick was one of the materials that contributed to modernization. But the house of Missionary Wilson and the Memorial of Owen are not red brick buildings. Yangrimdong is so why did they use grey brick instead of red? Is there a special reason? The brick buildings in Chosun were built by Chinese bricklayers right after opening their ports to trade. Brick buildings were built for the first time in Yangrimdong, Gwangju, in the 1900s. At that time, Western missionaries had started to build churches, houses and schools. Most of the houses used Chinese grey bricks because bricklayers there were Chinese. The Memorial of Owen became the cultural center of modern Gwangju history. There was no theater in Gwangju at that time, but the first Western play was on that stage. It's symmetrical, with a central pulpit inside. 초창기에 이 오행 기념관을 만들었을 때는 유교적 관습이 남아 있어서 남녀가 따로 입장을 했, 해야만 했다고 하네요. 그래서 이렇게 문을 두 개를 만들어 놓았고 그래서 이제 설교단을 어, 모서리에 배치했다고 합니다. The first and second floor balconies are inclined slightly toward the pulpit so the audience can concentrate on the speaker.
the old modern architecture buildings are well preserved at Spear Girls Middle and High School in Yangdimdong. Missionary Eugene Bell founded this school and Spear Hall was built in 1911, honoring Jenny Spear. So the name of the school has Spear Girl School in Korean. Winsborough Hall, which was built with red bricks in 1927, is the main building of Jenny Spear Memorial School for Girls now. There's a small but impressive prominent front porch. Jenny Spear Memorial School for Girls has been the cradle of modernization of Gwangju and education for women during the time of enlightenment. But the school was forced to close repeatedly. Jenny Spear Memorial School for Girls was closed indefinitely because of the Gwangju Students' Independence Movement. And the school was closed again for 10 years because of refusing Japanese shrine worship. The school building and site were confiscated, but returned again after Korea's independence from Japan. The anti-Japanese movement of Spear Girls School started from the March 1st independence movement of 1919. Park Hesun, the first graduate student, led other students in the independence movement and 23 of them served time in prison. Uh, a lot of independence movements sprung up in Gwangju during the Japanese colonial era. This is a monument that honored students who led the March 1st independence movement. The modern architecture style that remains at Jenny Spear Memorial School for Girls indicates what it really means to live and grow up with tradition. The courage and the driving force the students showed was simply astonishing. I've wondered where those students got their righteousness from. And today I think I finally got the answer to that question. Yangrimdong, Gwangju boasts a rich blend of modern culture and history, together with tradition. It's no coincidence the region is called the Modern History Culture Village. The house of Yi jang was built in the late Joseon Dynasty. It shows the character of Korean high-class homes. The main building of it was designated as a cultural asset. It's interesting that the building is in the figure of the kyuk, Korean letter. Southern houses, mostly straight patterns with that distinction. The house of Yi jang is not the typical Southern Korean style, though, in addition to something specific about this house. It's strange. 
Despite regulations concerning homes in the Chosun dynasty, including their columns, how could a round column have been used in the house of Yi jang -ul? Yangshi Traces from the era of change still remain in Yangnimdong as it ignited Gwangju's modernization 100 years ago.